You know, as I was enjoying my morning eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I saw a comment that caught my attention. It was from the Macro God himself, the Perry God, the Demon, the one and only Realist Apricot. After some further investigation, this is what the message said. Dude really sent me $50 in check money, which is $2.08 USD. Then proceeds to give me banned a second time? Alright bro, good stuff. Nice to see that the YouTuber community and moderation team for Dwoken is completely free of corruption. And I immediately thought to myself, what could Realist Apricot be talking about? Realist Apricot? The Macro God? Banned again? I had to get to the bottom of this. I had to do some deep level investigation to find out what had happened. I had to become the one and only Deep Woken Investigator. So when I'm Discord and I get to investigating and I posted a screenshot of his message and I asked, why did he get banned again? Was he actually cheating and I apologized for no reason? The answer is yes, Realist Apricot was a fraud the whole time. He was not a parry god. He was not a demon. He was not built different. He was simply cheating the entire time. I was scammed. I lost my money. My pride. I put aside my dignity for a second to apologize on camera. I got bullied at school for this. All for the sake of Realist Apricot to get his internet points, his internet clout, and for his ego to be inflated. I asked for an official statement from my favorite Deep Woken moderator besides besides Atra and, and Jamming and, and Marvin and Selic Torch. And the list goes on, but my favorite moderator asked him for a statement. And this is what he had to say. He was an exploiter using a recent exploit that popped up and masking it as a macro. He wasn't actually a macro and it was no sun or something of the light because we replicated his exact macro and did not achieve similar results. Plus, dude has like five banned accounts in Rogue. Plus, there's clips of him auto pairing him from months ago. My bro is not cracked. He exploiting. At least that's what I think he'd sound like. Anyways, I was scammed as a content creator. I feel like I was taken advantage of. Not only did I not get my money back, I'm not taking that video down because it made me like thirty dollars, and I actually spent that on some Jamaican food. Here's a picture if y'all want to see. That shit was in fact bussing. Anyways, I just had to make that video. Uh, that guy was actually cheating, and and I, I feel ashamed that I fell for his his buffoonery, his tricks, his mastermind plan to get internet clout. Anyways, that's it for the video. If you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And um. Bye bye.